Welcome to Eric Gaming. I'm Eric, and today I'm playing Oxygen, not included. This game is in early development, uh, developed by Cly, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, it's an underground kind of terraria setting where you are base building, but you're trying to equal out a, an ecosystem that's sustainable for multiple characters. And each one of these characters, they have a different role inside the society. We're just going to do a basic survival. I have watched a couple of tutorials on this game just to get started um, but it's one of those games where I keep learning uh, how to play and I, I keep wanting to restart uh, I'm just gonna edit this part okay so here we are this is the beginning colony we have our choice between three characters each one have different attributes different skill settings uh, we want to pay attention primarily to the traits and their interests because each one of these characters will be signed a job to help have the colony sustain so um, I am going to be looking for people who can dig I'm going to be looking for people who can mine and uh, perhaps an operation operation is like an engineer there's some internal workings that go on as your uh, colony advances and so supply operate mouth breather you do have a finite amount of resources meaning oxygen is limited so a mouth breather would cause more uh, carbon dioxide into the atmosphere um, so I might just keep looking around so operate we have another mouth breather build bottomless stomach uh, I'm not too concerned about that so over here we have farm cook and tidy I have a dig uh, let's supply and operate. Squeamish doesn't allow... I thought uh, Squeamish didn't allow first aid. Okay, this is what we're going to do. So here we go. Eric, world. <laughs> Spell correctly. One, Eric, world, one, embark. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game. We do have a world clock. We can speed up the game up to three times, and we'll do a, a bit of speeding. So here we are. We are in the underground. There is no um, atmosphere. There's no There's no top. You, you are perpetually underground, and you are mining, and you are building a colony. And as your colony grows, uh, I don't know what you would call this, but this is a doorway that allows more prints. These are copies. These are... Um, artificial life forms maybe I don't know however they are created so let's go ahead and get the screen back going up here we have uh, the consumables vitals reports research priorities jobs a lot of the stuff will come into play later on right now we are just going to essentially establish uh, bathrooms and places to sleep right now that that'll be the objective for today so right now I'm just gonna select to dig this area uh, again we do have a finite amount of resources so what you see in this little bubble is exactly what we have to work with we have some metals dirts sands uh, up here we have some carbon dioxide some uh, poisonous gases um, right now it's pretty harmless I haven't really been able to get outside of this comfort area once you get outside of this primary bubble uh, things become a little bit more treacherous when it comes to gases you have uh, chlorine uh, hy hydrogen uh, there's also some natural gases that are produced anyway let's get started everyone's gonna kinda share their priorities right now we have an order of operations everybody has their own specific attributes some people have uh, increased cooking skills more than others. Right now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this person on a level 3. Uh, that's the highest priority you can put on somebody. Uh, so this individual, Catalina, she's going to be primarily digging. I'm going to have May who has level three in construction. She's going to be primarily building, and I will end up having this person just be a floater. They will be good in a couple different things. I want them to be able to dig, build. I'm going to want them to operate. Engineering is going to be important right off the bat. Maybe cook, tidy. 
let's also increase these. Everybody that has at least a one plus skill point. Oops, I have some idle workers. Let's go ahead and dig over here. And we'll get some bathrooms established. So you can't really control these too much individually. You can move them to specific areas, but all these characters are, are guided by the order of operations and their job sets, their skill set. Let's get rid of that too. I'm gonna create some bathrooms now. Uh, we wanna be able to force them into a one specific direction. So we will want to start off with wash stations. A lot of this has to revolve around, uh, a lot of this revolves around germs. Um, so how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna have one there, three there. So let's start over here. I think I measured that out correctly. I'm gonna have three right now. In fact, I may expand it to four. I'll leave room for a fourth. A lot of this stuff you can remove. Uh, so if you, you place it, you can easily move it. You don't lose the resources, it just breaks down. And you can uh, collect all the resources, gather on the ground. Of course, we have storage available for all the resources to get collected in, but a lot of the times they're just left on the ground. You can command people to pick them up or put in a priority speed up a little bit um, and eventually somebody will get to it uh, you'll notice these bathrooms these wash stations they have directional arrows at the top slow this down and I'm gonna slip set these so I'm gonna create the bathroom so there's only one way in one way out so anybody who walks to the left will have to stop and wash their hands but right now there's no water in there so we'll need to fix that too uh, now that I look at where the water is located, everyone's standing around, I'm talking too much, sand will fall. Uh, let's get some more bathrooms done, and let's uh, dig these up, because we're going to want to put bathrooms here. I'll just go ahead, I, I, we're going to end up rearranging, now that I'm looking at the, the map. I'm going to set this up, I've played this game a couple of times. Uh, on my own just to get a feel for it. There's a lot of information like all of this. This took forever to figure out and this would have been a very boring first series if I had not done that first. This game is just too complex to, to have it be a let's try. Now I am going to establish beds because these guys need to sleep. So uh, a lot of this has to do with um, airflow you are really controlling the environment. Oh, here's a pocket of something. There's hydrogen, so that's a poisonous gas. I haven't dealt with that yet. I don't know how to deal with it. And of course, the, the further you get go out, the more exposure to germs you have. And you can easily get a colony infected with a, a cold, a sickness. Um, what I dealt primarily with was food poisoning. And I ended up getting a slime lung inside my colony, the germ bacteria slime lung, which is produced by the slime out here. Let's see, and then over here you can kind of get an idea of what's in the specific tile. So in this tile we have some gases, breathable gas. The temperature, um, what's this? Mass of a thousand grams, zero surface germs. So there's no surface germs in here. There's no disease in here, but this is carbon dio- no, polluted oxygen. And you can get sick from polluted oxygen. I am talking so much. I am not paying attention. Let's pause. Get this on the slowest speed. Okay, so now it's uh, right here is our cycle. So this is a one day cycle. We're getting close to the evening. This is our sleep period. All these guys will eventually go to sleep. They do need to use the restroom. Uh, they usually do that in the morning. And we can also build showers eventually, too. So like I was saying, this is going to be a one-way area. Um, the, the, the prince will have to come in here, use the restroom, and they'll have to exit, passing these wash stations uh, going left. And every time they go left, they'll have to stop and wash their hands. However, now that I see that the water's down here, this is a primary water source, so they're going to be constantly coming over here once I get something built. So maybe we'll go down here, or we'll have to rebuild. Either which way, let's keep going. I am going to start to build down. Um, duh, 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 duh. And then we'll clear all this out. 
and we will clear all this out. Depending on how you organize your base, you're going to want to have at least probably three rows. Oh, some of these workbenches and some stations require four. And there's one station we do need to build, which is a research station. I'm going to build that right there. Another thing that comes into play is isolation. Isolating specific rooms will create a buff. And you'll have, uh, if you go to the room overlay, you'll see you'll have some perks, room effects, morale plus two, morale plus one. Um, and each one of these has a, a different, how do I put it? Has a, has a different effect on, on the colony and how they interact with each other and how they build, how they work together. Uh, I'm going to build another set of staircases over here just to keep them working while I talk. So over here we're going to also build a door and we're going to block off this because the restrooms actually, once isolated and are their own room, have a, a benefit, a buff. So that buff would be, where are we? Barracks, latrine, morale bonus. So a plus one morale bonus. Oops. I'm gonna be pausing a lot too. There's a lot of different buttons. Uh, pausing by accident, I should say. Okay, let's speed this up and at least get one day done. Okay, so now what's happening is they are using the restroom, taking their break. They have a certain amount of time before they have to go to bed. So right now it's break time. They're gonna eat, use the restroom. Uh, once we get more rooms established, there'll be different types of socialization and, and fun things to do. But right now, pretty basic. When they're done here, they're gonna go to bed. Each, each individual will be signed a bed. Uh, you can assign restrooms to different people. Right now, I just like to keep everything public. Lots of, oh, oh, priorities. I forgot about priorities. So you press P and things have different priorities. You want to set things that are, you, you need to do on a regular basis on a higher priority. So I'll put this at seven. And I don't usually go anywhere under five unless I want to completely ignore something. But usually I will set things on different, uh, three different tiers, I guess four different tiers, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine being an emergency that, that is, a primary focus um, and then well you get it ascending uh, to descending in uh, importance uh, for some reason not everyone made it to bed oh he was still eating so now we're gonna sleep they're gonna sleep the night away these creatures lay eggs you can attack them eat their meat uh, but right now they're pretty harmless mostly the biggest damage that these little creatures do is eat the resources that are on the ground which is not terrible Everything's a cycle. It's it's just balance. The game is all about balance. The closest game, um, other than Terraria, I can relate this to is I don't know if you've ever played Kerbal Space Program. A lot of that had to do with balance and math and trying to find an equilibrium to get the rocket ship. It was a it's a it's a space game and, and the objective was to build rockets and to get those rockets up into orbit or outer space, to other planets exploring. Um, but it's all about balance because once you get into space you only have a finite amount of resources to work with. Very similar to this concept here. And now everyone's cleaning. There's a certain amount of tidiness. Uh, certain items will produce more germs than others. So here, this is the germ screen. You can see right now, uh, we do have some germs spreading. I'm going to assign these guys to disinfect the beds. Um, these guys will, in fact, watch this. Let's do this. If we can move him over here. And then let's move her over here. And that's set it. Now watch. These guys will... You're supposed to use the sink stations. The wash stations. Well, you just proved my theory wrong. Maybe I need to increase the importance of these. What do I have these on? Seven? I don't know. I thought I understood it. Maybe I didn't. Um, so see right here. This one does not work because it doesn't have a functioning foundation. I'm just going to spread that out, I guess. Might be a little early. Oh, I'm out of resources to do that. 
Can I? Is that what it's telling me? Here's our resources. So raw material. I should have enough to build a... Yeah, I need to do that first. I don't know. There's some weird glitch. This game is still in early development. Okay, uh, we need to create power supplies, so let's get some energy running. Right now, we have just really basics. Um, in fact, I think I will do... How tall are these? These are two tiles. I'm going to make a little two-tile section right here, and this is going to be desig designated for uh, energy and storage. So... Let's get a couple of batteries going. These will soon be replaced by a large battery, which takes up four tiles. Um, and then we need something to generate power, which is the little rodent wheel. And now, we have to connect all of these together. Um, they hide behind. They're on different, separate layers from the, the foreground objects. So they can hide and tuck behind uh, walls and... Um, Floors, ladders, oh, but they don't hide behind dirt. Uh, if you if you put it through dirt, they remove the dirt. So you got to be careful and make sure that you uh, lay flooring down after you've either laid the wire or do it beforehand because uh, it it'll render something like this. This is still rendered useless. Oh, there's a plant in there. That's why it won't let me do it. Uh, let's get rid of the plant. I, I I see what the problem is now. And since this is... Oh, it's not completely... Let's raise the priority of this. So now, the builder, in theory, should prioritize this if they can get up to it. And, uh... And close this room. Algae is a main resource for producing oxygen. Eventually, we will need to produce oxygen with, uh, polluted water, which we haven't got to yet. Now, I think I'm going to adjust this a hair. I don't... I want this room to be separate from where we gather water. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a little bit of engineering, I think. But we have to be careful about sicknesses. These guys can develop hypothermia from uh, different temperatures and, and being cold. Can we dig here now? Can we build here now? Yeah, there we go. So now when this room becomes enclosed... Oh, it has been now. This considers it part of the room. Now it's just slightly too big. I just need to close this gap. Let's put this on a priority 9. So now, again, I've put this on a higher priority. Uh, somebody should come over here and construct this pretty quickly. You can't control these guys directly. It's all about priorities. Okay, so now... This is almost ready to go. These are starting to gain power. This gentleman should be... The engineer? Operate. May. That's Frankie. Frankie? Yeah, one of his things is to operate, so... Good job, Frankie. Let's build a couple more of these. is ready to go. Research is important. So, research. Lot, just like any other game, this is how you advance your tech tree. Uh, the first thing we really want to do is begin to assign jobs, and then after that, we, it, it depends on really what you want, um, how you want to direct your, your colony to grow. Power or farming, I do either one of those. Plumbing usually comes third, ventilation comes fourth, Decor is very last because, um, just the way I, I prefer it, I guess. So, now things are going to slow down a little bit because one of these guys will end up having to pull off and do some research. And right now, I'm not doing a lot of building. I need kind of a fourth duplicate right now, but let's put Frankie in no ah, let's just leave it how it is is this still going? come on guys 
Catalina, she just decided to do it anyway. Put Frankie as build and dig right now. No, we'll put May as build and dig because we need somebody to operate now that we need power. And let's speed this up. Where is everybody working? Okay, so now I'm gonna take my time on here. I should maybe invest in a medical bed. Now that I am beginning to do a little bit of work. Let's also... No. I was going to say let's move this bed over here and create a bedroom. But I'm not sure if it's really of importance right now. Everyone's using the restroom. Oh, they're not washing their hands because there's no water. That's what it is. Um... Yeah, this may work. I should have done that there and then put the ladder down. But this works too. Okay. We're okay. This works just fine. So now, once this is built, they'll be able to gather water. Well, everyone is going to bed. I think I will wrap this up. Let's take a look at what we've done today. So today, we got some power going. Well, the last two days, we got power going. We got beds. We got med beds uh, on, on queue as well as a well faucet, spigot, and then restrooms, research station, got some supplies, I should make actually some actual, before we go, oops, we're doing this, I'm going to set up some storage, so we'll do, we'll just start off with four right now, and then I'll make another layer later for some more power, and I'm going to work pretty much vertically. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.